What is up, everybody? This is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and today we are taking a look at the Death Adder Essential Razor Mouse. Okay, so here's the story. I went and purchased this myself. I needed a new mouse. I've been using these old crappy mouses here that came with whatever device I got. I decided to pick up a, a nicer mouse. But then I got completely overwhelmed with the number of different gaming mice out there, how expensive they were. I mean, $100, $200. And I said, forget it. I said, let me go to Razer, which I know is a good company, and let me see what their base unit is. And this is the Razer Death Adder Essential. And I picked the black one up here for 25 bucks. They have a white one for 14, but I know that that would get really dirty on my desk. So I went ahead and stuck with the black one here. And for 25 bucks, I was interested to know what kind of mouse I could get that was from a reputable company and was a quote unquote gaming mouse. Okay. So this one is true 6400 DPI optical sensor, and it has five programmable buttons. So those are the two things that I wanted. I wanted some extra buttons to be able to do things on the computer uh, that I could program specifically. And I wanted sort of a high DPI sensor. So let's go ahead and open this up. And again, not everyone out there is someone who needs a professional gaming mouse. Someone might want a nice mouse like this at a reasonable price by a reputable manufacturer that works great. And again, this is not a wireless mouse. I get tired of replacing the batteries or charging the mouse. This is wired. So that is what keeps sort of that price down. So let's pull it out of the box here. All uh, right off the bat, you have the standard manual. Toss it aside. And there it is. Now, one thing you might also want to know is the fact that I'm six foot six tall. I got big honking hands, so I wanted to make sure I got a mouse that would fit my hands well. There are a lot of other mice that are very small. In fact, in comparison to the one that I have been using, you can see that it is this one is a little bit bigger, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable having with like a, a whole hand mouse. So I think that's one thing to note specifically about this is if you're looking for a smaller mice, mouse, this might not be for you, but for me, this the size of this was just right. Okay, so on the bottom, we do have these sort of slip pads, right? So I'm going to put this here on my desk. I don't have a mouse pad or anything. I am going to kind of slide it around here. And one thing off the bat that I'm noticing is that the, the action on the mouse button here is very, very, very sensitive, right? So I'm not feeling like I'm having to, you know, push down in this sort of angle. A lot of times you have to push down like this. I feel like if I'm holding the mouse like this, I can easily put a little bit of pressure and click that down. Now, here's one thing I'm about to test out that is my pet peeve, and I'm please let this be the case. Good, okay? So when I roll this mouse wheel right here, there is a tactile bump. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people ha like to have the mouse with the little switch where you can make it basically fling and move as fast as possible. I like to make sure that I can feel that tactile bump when I'm moving this mouse wheel. So that definitely does have that. Because what I like to do is if I'm using that middle mouse button, I want that tactile bump on a web page that I'm using if I want to click. I don't want that, you know, flipping all over the place while I'm trying to click uh, on a specific link. And on the side here, you will note that it does have two buttons here on this side. One thing I'm not exactly sure of is when it says five programmable buttons, I'm assuming this is this, 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 and then middle mouse button down, not five programmable in addition to the main buttons. Okay. So let me go ahead and unwrap this and get it plugged in. Now, once you do uh, plug this into your computer, it automatically comes up with the Razer Synapse driver, uh, Razer Synapse application. But I'll tell you right now, uh, 100%, this feels excellent for the price. Scrolling on web pages, double middle mouse clicking, all feels really, really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Razer Synapse software. All right, once you've loaded the application, what they allow you to do is basically see your device here, the Razer Death Adder Essential. I'm gonna click on this and what it does is it basically allows you to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch from standard to hyper shift. So standard basically only allows you to do the scroll click mouse button five and mouse button four and change scroll up and scroll down, basically what they do. If you want to, you can change your left click and right click 
Uh, let's say you're left-handed or you want to switch those around, you can. I'm going to go ahead and stay in san standard. And I was under the impression that it does. Yeah, you can go here over here to the lighting tab and you can change the lighting up and down, brightness off completely. You can change it to uh, sort of breathing, you know, where it pulses in and out. It can be a static color. Switch off the lighting when the display is turned off or when it's idle. Um, it looks like they don't allow you to change the color, which is fine with me. Um, they do allow you to change the brightness, which is also pretty nice. So going back over to performance, this is where you can change your sensitivity stages. So a lot of people may not want 6400 DPI as far as their sensitivity, because that'll send your mouse flying across the screen. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm very happy that this allows me to basically, like I'm having a hard time clicking on the stage three, sort of keeping it at 1600. I think that's something that I am very familiar with, or you can dial it in specifically to the number you're familiar with. And as far as the polling rate, I'm gonna leave that as it is. It's the number of data updates in a second. If I was really worried about the performance on a game that I'm playing, I might wanna up that. I'll leave it as it is now. So again, you can see that on even their most basic mouse, uh, they provide you with the software to be able to sort of customize it as you want. I'm not exactly sure what these mouse buttons are gonna be at this point in time, but right now you can see that if I click on this mouse button five, I could launch a program, I can do multimedia, I can do a shortcut, I can put quick text that I like to put in, uh, keyboard function, mouse function, sensitivity up or down, uh, I could change that with these buttons. So yeah, it looks like for one of their basic, basic products, you get a lot of extra sort of bells and whistles with this software. For now, I'll go ahead and change this to a sort of breathing effect. So when I switch back here, I'll switch back over to my desk view. You'll be able to see that, you know, if I put this here, that the light is pulsating on and pulsating off, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I'll go ahead and change it back to the static. Uh, turn the brightness completely off so you can see that it's completely off right now. Turn the brightness on, turn it all the way up. So now you can see the brightness of the LED. And again, I couldn't find a place to be able to change the color. But right now I'm, I'm extremely satisfied with this um, as a purchase. And this is something that I'm going to use from now on. If you're interested in this particular model, I'll leave the link down below. If you're looking into getting a gaming mouse or looking into gaming mouses, mice, I don't know the proper term for that is. But if you're looking to get into a little bit better quality mouse and something that's sort of made by Razer, I think this is an awesome awesome option to be able to use. Again, this is the Death Adder Essential. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below. And if you like this video, if this helped you out at all, again, I'm not a, a gaming mouse professional. I'm going to get a couple different more options, try those out, kind of figure out what's the best sort of so we can work together to find sort of a happy medium between price point and quality. And if this video helped you out at all, go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up down below. Uh, subscribe. Welcome back to my desk anytime to take a look at some of these cool little tech items that I've got. This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.